Um, actually, I, I don't even think I've read Iron Man's kit gear, but in general, this is the build of Iron Man I use. Um, just so I can like heroic spam with Darkhold forever. Until they, but then eventually they're gonna nerf Darkhold. Um, let me do a real mission where I have to actually kill stuff and I'll show you. Maybe I'll do a mini hive. Yeah, I'll do I'll do this mini hive. That'll be how we end it. Showing like the 134. Again, this power doesn't matter. Because you fight enemies that are your power base. So if your power is 150, you will be facing off against enemies that are 160. You know? Like. So if you're 150, if you're at complete build of a character, you better. You better be at perfect build you better because just just from i'll wait to this load in we have located another elite hive that's building a death toy let's pay the place a visit and take it offline pim seems to be the best right now hey astros um This gear piece, right? This is giving me I'm like right now you look at stats. So there's two things in a build. There's the stats that you want, and then there's the perks that you want. So for this item, light combo finishers deploy a wave of pin particles. That item is useless to me. Uh except on on uh on as a companion, this that item is amazing because Iron Man does melee as a companion sometimes. Pim, Shock, Gamma, Cryo. I'd agree with that. That makes sense. And then there's... Supposedly there's Cosmic. Like, there's another one. But there's not enough resources in-game. Like, normally in a game like this, you'd be able to go to Collections and Intelligence, right? And find out, like, hey, what does this type of damage do? All of this stuff is just fun, and I've listened to it. Like, none of this stuff tells you what the, the attacks do. If you go to, uh, let me go here, to Codex, right? And I'll go to, let's see, Skydog, right? Well, it doesn't tell me what type of damage he does. If I go to, where's Spin? Are there any Spins? Here. That's actually perfect. Stiletto Riot Bot. Beware electrical damage. Doesn't tell us what shock does. Doesn't help us. Um. Dacier, fun fact about Cryo. If you have a character that's slowed, if your opponent is slowed, your timing on their dodge is off. Because it slows how long it takes them to charge. So the dodge is different. So if you have the timings on how to dodge specific things correctly, and they're slowed, your timing will be off and you'll get hit by it. It's relevant on the big explosions that the idiots get. Shock does stun and that's way better. That's fair. They might. Damage is something they can just always scale up. Uh, okay, so first we're going to start with this. And we're going to rocket spam. I was playing with one other person all of these things would be down no this is pim iron man here i'll shrink somebody for you actually these guys are too squishy they'll die immediately
Bye, everybody. I'm usually closer to heal packs when I do that. How should you build Widow? Range stun damage is one of the best uh, setups. But you can also use her for melee stuff too. Infinite stealth. There's a couple. Widow has like two or three different builds, and all of them are based on what you need. But Tony, you wasted all that stuff. Yep, Darkhold. And now it's all full again. We wouldn't get Hank Pym. Hank Pym in the storyline. Spoilers. Spoilers for storyline. But then again, storyline might change. Widow can do a lot. I, I, I've said before, the best fourth character on the team is always Black Widow. Like, whatever the team comp, because she can be whatever that team needs. So if it's like Hulk, Thor, um, Iron Man, uh, all of that team is, is really big on damage, so you don't need Widow's damage, so you don't spec her to be damage, you probably spec her to be, uh, support with, like, a little bit of stun. And then if you have, like, Ms. Marvel, uh, Hulk, and, um, like, Thor on their own, and Thor happens to be, like, spamming, like, you know, like, Thor, Thor's under-leveled or something, then you can use Black Widow to be the primary damage dealer on the team. So, like, wait, I have to defeat all targets? I don't want to. Oh, those don't count as targets. Okay. Oh, they're all here now? Oh, what? Are you all going to line up for me? You guys are great. Yeah, this is why Iron Man's getting nerfed. I will show you in a second. Oh, everyone's dead here? And I'm not even efficient with this shit. I don't even- I'm just button mashing.
Five star. Ooh, a purple. I, I actually want a feature in this game where if I pick up any piece of gear that's blue uh, or less, I can have it auto-dust it. Like, because I do not want to pick up green or blue gear, and I really don't want to have to go into my screen, look at this blue gear, this 129 piece, and then have to spend time clicking buttons to get rid of it. I want to be able to set it so that, like, I know I don't care about any third like, gear. I'm getting enough legendaries now that, like, it doesn't make a difference. Another note. Major artifacts. One of the reasons why I don't think it's important to get to 150 ever under any circumstances. You get everything you need out of every artifact at 3. The only exception is Tactagon, which scales Valor and Might each level. But... I think it does. I actually don't know. I've never wasted resources putting it in it because it's not that important. Um, but on certain character builds, Tactagon could be amazing. You know, like if you are building like an infinite stun or an infinite shock or cryo kind of character, Tactagon is already absurd because you're just doing more damage. Caps Infinite Brooklyn Brawler build. Yeah, you can do Caps Infinite Brooklyn Brawler build at like level 10. Like, well, I didn't know. I think level 20. Level 20, you're Infinite Brooklyn Brawler. The problem is... Like, for hives, you're gonna have a lot of value at a cap. Anytime you have to move, cap is gonna be a problem. You're dead. And now, infinite spam damage. What am I stuck on? Uh, someone has the picture of the uh, faction artifacts. Where is everybody? Why is it so hard to see enemies? Like, why- why don't enemies always show up on the screen? I'm not gonna three-star this mission. Because this is taking forever. Because they already hit 25%. Yeah, they're on- I think it's on Reddit. Yeah, what I trust is somebody that's showing a video. So if someone wants to say, Exotics are drops from this game mode. There best be a video untouched of them clearing the game mode and getting the exotic. Because I'm not gonna believe anybody who says, uh, man, this is how you do it on challenge level four. And even then, all that proves is it drops in that game mode. It doesn't prove challenge level four. Like the exotic that dropped for, for Trav dropped at challenge level two. So, that's all you need to know about that. You do not need to do challenge level 4. Whether it increases the drop rate, we won't know. Would you rather be a CC for this game? I want to be a content creator for any game I play. But I wouldn't rather be a CC. These are very different games. Marvel Strike Force is more, has more strategy. This game is more build-based. I, 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 I excel at games like these. Um, where you could just grind and determine weird stuff. Because there is a great build, like here. I told you, I'm a missile build. I'm gonna shrink this guy real quick. Here, let me shrink this guy. Why am I not shrinking? Did they nerf him in like four hours? Usually if I do that, something shrinks. And I know I'm doing the pim damage because it's coming up purple. Huh. Yeah. If it, like, and that's because Trav did it. You know, even you guys listening to me say that, you guys could be like, "Fucking Tony, I don't know what you're saying." Grazie, Australia. I'm happy to hear that. Wait. Where's A? This takes fucking forever. 
And this is why I, I say, like, don't waste your time on hives. Because unless the reward is a guaranteed upgrade, like, what is this? Is this worth the headache when you could just get better gear in other places? Yeah. If you see a video of somebody doing something, that is the truth. Everything else is anecdotal. Also, as a note, if the company says X, do not believe them. They uh, they've already gone they've already gone on record to say things that we've proven wrong on stream. Like like this is a thing we did. Be like, okay. God, this is... These should not show up when you're running single player. These missions did, you shouldn't show up. The protect the guys, that's fine. But this mission specifically should not even exist. In, like, you can't do it. You, you can't... On harder challenges too, you just can't do it. It takes too long. And the technology exists to be able, like, they could just be like, oh, you're only one person? This mission isn't here. Like, make me kill people. This hive boasts top tier security, which is not surprising given its main purpose. Maybe I could have cleared that one a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, do it once, you know? Like, do everything once just to feel it. But that that mission I started this this off with with Hulk. It it was 14 levels. It took like an hour, and the reward was not worth it. And then you have the Diablo loot drop, which is like, well, good things can drop from characters. Be like, yes, but the best things need to drop from bosses, because if good things drop from characters, we wouldn't finish the fucking fight. You know what I mean? I haven't pushed buttons in a while. Yeah, we refer to pieces that have specific names as tier pieces. Any gear, like, one thing I've noticed is there's no set bonuses, and I'll show you real quick. Set bonuses needs to exist. Maybe that's coming, and that's fine. Like, we don't, it's fine that we don't have it now, but it's something that needs to, oh, nanites. Oop. Here, in the loading screen, I'll show you. Because I have a ton. So, one of his tiers. See where it says, like, faultless and vulnerability? Those are just random rolls, right? Modular Mark 7. Mark 7 is a type of gear for him. Mark, Mark 8 is his tier. 
this is superior mark eight this and then everything else is uh random rolls so like faultless that's not a thing um this is centurion's mark eight mark eight is the tier centurion is the roll uh, i think i have a couple of those actually and i think i always forget the name of all of his gear but i know mark eight is one of them so anything that says mark eight is a tier piece but so this mark eight piece right uh this it is actually dog shit it increases the distance covered during an evade and gives you 10 points of intrinsic energy when performing a takedown, which is actually not the worst. But, like, overall, it doesn't give you much. Set bonuses? Set bonuses come usually immediately. Mark 8. Wait, did it say 13? Wait. I thought it was VIII. Oh, it's 13. Shit. My bad. Mark 13. I, for some reason, I've always been assuming it was Mark 8. I meant... Oh, okay, cool. That was me not reading Roman numerals right. It's Mark 13. My bad. No, my bad. Mark 13. I kept saying Mark 8 because I didn't recognize it was an X. I just thought it was also a V. So the Mark 13 is his, um, is his specialty stuff. But they don't matter. Is it Jarvis? Do you have a Jarvis shock? Or did you have shield payload? Shield payload is missiles. It just fires missiles. Faction procs are depending on the character, you know? Uh, my Hulk has a piece that has a shield payload. Widows matter a fuck ton. Yeah, different characters matter on different things. Widows, and again, it's for the build. Like, if you're just doing an ex... Widows only matters if you're doing... Um, what's it called? If you're doing... Like the red room stuff is is for what's it called? Uh, stealth, right? And melee. If you're building a pure range, I don't think you need it. Like if you're just using guns. Every of the elite team must be yeah. Defeated. But that's that's build comps. The fact that two pieces don't work with each other, like we need set bonuses. And again, it doesn't have to be right now, but. When you, because they've spent so much time actually separating the characters. Infinite mana, Iron Man, shooting everything. Yeah. Yeah, worse is worse is a comparative statement, not an actual statement. If you can't combo with Widow, and but you do amazing with better, you know, it's like. Take missiles. Avengers Initiative. Um, what do you mean tips? I have a video about how to gear fast on YouTube. About, it's a, I think it's a 12 minute video, but it shows you. Oh, never bring anything over challenge level two. That's the first rule. Uh, excuse me. I gotta blow these cooldowns. Have friends, friends makes things a lot more fun. Um, leveling up Iron Man first will help you with a lot of content easy. Uh, so you can have a far a character for farming resources. Uh, most missions do not re uh, are not worth completing. It's wor more worthwhile to do all side objectives and stop. There are some missions that are better than others. Never do harm missions. Do them once to complete them, and then that's it. Harm missions have never been the best of anything. Uh, they're the, the only thing they're the best at is getting comic books, and even then. It's still longer to get one comic book from a harm mission than it is to get three or four from running, like, objectives out of a, a good match. Don't make me kill stuff. Uh, we don't quite get enough uh, upgrade materials that you should be able to bring gear up. Like, high end level, end level gear to 40. I wish. Notes one through seven done. Gone for break. Take it easy, man. 
Wait, where did I? How did I lose all my, my stuff? How did I lose all my stuff? Are there spin guys? Did I get tagged by a spin guy? You're dead. He's dead. Shrink him. Family friendly? What, the stream or the game? Uh, Cap is the only person that ever curses. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say family friendly. Uh, as if something bad happens, I might say a word. But uh, I don't make it. It's not a part of the stream. You know what I mean? Like. Like, being, being crass is not necessarily a part of the stream, but if you have small children present, uh, I would like you to know that I might say something. <laughs> you are 13? That is up to you and based on what you want to do. You are making your own choice. This is, uh, this is not for children. This is for people who play the game. That is your choice, my friend. I'm going to murder these people. Oh! My you- Never mind. I'm sorry, guys. I forgot. I could do this. Well, it's a good question to ask. Oh, don't you dare. Alright, here's a little secret for when this happens. It's easy to do that. With Hulk, because Hulk does AoE damage through stuff, like, you just pound the ground. Why did I get four on that? Was I down? Was I down Did not notice? Yeah, so for this build, I would normally... Let me see if I can actually cheese it a little bit. Normally, what I would do, because of how I'm spamming, is uh, I would put on... Hold on. That couldn't have been better. Alright, okay, I'll show... I'll, I'll spam... I'll cheese this, this mission. If I can. Okay. Yeah. Your 
So all I did was not even look at the gear. I took the gear that had the highest heroic damage because all of my attacks are going to be based on my heroics. And I'm going to spam my heroics and you're going to see quite a bit of value here. This is the heroic spam cheaty code that I was trying to show you with Iron Man. And this is not, my Iron Man isn't strong, he doesn't have perfect build, he's just, he just exists. That guy's dead. The worst thing is that Hulk keeps throwing him. <laughs> and that's why Iron Man's getting nerfed. Did I ever, at any point in time, feel out of control? Did I ever at any point in time feel like I had to challenge the game? No. Now take what I just did. Keep in mind, I just put on any gear that had stats. I didn't even read it, didn't look at it. Fight was, you know, challenge level two, five levels higher, could go up all the way. Modular Mark Seven shielding. Okay. <laughs> 